What's up, y'all? So today's reading is for the new moon in Pisces. And this is a very sensitive, creative new moon. So this is an excellent time to manifest. So let's get right into it. Now, let me go ahead and give you this disclaimer real quick. Not everything may apply to you. So do me a favor and do yourself a favor and only take what you need. Take what resonates and speaks to you, to your soul, to your being. My very first card is what your soul wants you to know. And we got baby steps, action, follow your intuition before it makes sense. You're being called to take grounded action in response to your soul's calling to start where you are and begin building in a consistent way. So many people stop themselves from living a soul led life because they're wanting to know the destination before taking the first step. But intuition does not work like that. Our soul is calling us every moment of every day. You're being encouraged to start small, bite size, to put one foot in front of the other, to do one thing every day, to break things down into achievable tasks. It's time to opt for consistency over urgency, to remember that you don't need to have it all figured out to know exactly where your path is leading you. You don't have to know every single step along the way before you set out on your great journey. You just need to take the next step. So I ask you, what's one simple baby step that you can take in the direction of your soul's calling? This next card is the action that our soul is guiding us to take. This is considered a grounded action. We got inner earth. You'll survive this new solutions and beginnings. Many have searched for inner earth in the physical world, but without success. So the mystery continues. Is it a place that exists in the physical or is it another level of consciousness? Y'all know what I think, right? <laughs> There are solutions beyond what you can perceive. Surprising outcomes to your problems and situations. Resolutions that are in the best interest of all involved. If you find yourself facing an obstacle or feeling stuck and you have no idea what to do, you're being reassured that there is a way out. You will survive this and things will work out. Don't they always? If you're stuck in a rut, do something to shake up the energy and shift your thinking. Try something you wouldn't normally do. Soon, you'll see that the whole new worlds of solutions are available to you. Things that were previously beyond your focus will present themselves. Helpful people, signs from the universe, and support in both expected and unexpected ways are on their way to you. But first, you need to do something different to shift your focus so that you can receive them. So I ask you, what can you do to shift your energy, your outlook and your perspective? So our next card, we're going to ask for this new moon, this new beginning, this new start. What is rising up in me? The card is a new romantic cycle begins. And this is a new moon and Libra card. Give and take could well be the answer to whatever dilemma you're asking about. Compromise may be called for. It's time to start negotiating or even renegotiating. When the new moon in Libra comes up, there's a restart for you and for someone else. A new relationship could be beginning. And if that's the case, the chances are this will be a healthy and well-balanced connection. And anything you do after pulling this card, doing it in pairs is advised, such as teaming up with someone in business or in your personal life. Libra is the sign of relating and this card suggests that whoever is at the heart of the issue you're addressing is someone who will be open to taking and talking things through. Avoid being selfish. It won't get you anywhere at this time. Reach out to someone and let them know you care. Feel more. Think less. Marriage or engagement is on these cards. A legal matter will go your way. Pay some attention to your appearance, but don't be all about appearances. Let's say that one more time. Pay attention to your appearance, but don't be all about appearances. So we have a main message for this new moon. Show the world the real you. 
full moon in Aquarius. This card brings the message from the cosmos that you need to detach a little from whatever situation you're asking about. Someone might be keeping you at arm's length now, but it's not a bad thing. It's important for you to allow life to unfold in progress, even if change seems like a frightening prospect. If you've been holding yourself back from showing the world the real you, this card reminds you that your unique characteristics are what make you special. In a relationship, are you being too aloof or detached? Go ahead and be yourself in whatever it is that is coming up for you. Be aware of your feelings, but also be prepared to move on. Don't lose the beauty and romance of life. You are too much in your head. Get into your heart. A friend needs you. Be there for them. A situation is gonna take a very unexpected turn. Our very last card is the final outcome of this new moon. And we have communication is key, new moon in Gemini. A successful relationship usually comes down to one thing, communication. And the new moon in Gemini card is all about the start of a new cycle for communicating with the person at the center of your question. Talking things through is the answer to whatever it is you're asking about. If you can't talk to that person, you can journal about it to yourself. Emails, text messages, and all other forms of communication will also help you now. If the issue you're asking about concerns a sibling or neighbor, there's a new start coming. A time to wipe the slate clean and start over. This card could also suggest you've been too frivolous lately and need to be grounded again. But most importantly, drawing this card emphasizes the need to communicate. Here's a little assignment. Write a list of all the people you love most and see if you are prioritizing them. Tell someone how you feel. It's time. Don't be all in your head and not in your heart. Do you hear how we keep getting that? It's time to be in our heart and not our head. That's like being in that inner being. I'm taking a side note. Allow your consciousness to feel this intuition and to trust yourself. I feel that so deeply right now within myself and with this collective reading. Mm, this card can mean that someone is flirting with you. Mm, I see you. And it could also mean that you need to read more books. Now, I love me a good book. Now that that concludes our collective reading for the new moon in Pisces, I want you to just simply, wherever you are, close your eyes, relax your shoulders, relax your jawline. Just allow all of the information that only resonate with you stay with you everything else is irrelevant release it if it doesn't serve you if it's not for you so let's take a deep breath in inhaling all that resonates with us through our nose and exhale all that no longer serves us and the information that we don't need to stay with let's take another deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouth. Let's take one last inhale in through our nose and hold. Release it all through your mouth. Now I want you to repeat after me, whether it's in your head or it's aloud. Today, I am loved. Today, I will know in my heart that I deserve love and respect. Today, I will forgive. Today, I will forgive any past mistakes I have made and love myself unconditionally. Today, I am focused. Today, I will be productive 
and feel good about doing the hard work that I need to do. Happy new moon, guys. Go manifest. Bring these things into fruition and understand that the seeds you're planting now will sprout. Stay consistent. Be consistent. Stay in your heart. Get out your head. Peace.